Hey there, this is Ryan on episode two of No Code, No Problem. Today I'm going to be talking about different possibilities with Google Sheets and a product highlight. But before I do any of that, it was brought to my attention that I should probably give you a little more background info on me. So yeah, so um, I've been in the entrepreneurial space for around three years now. This is my first podcast though. Um, But I co-founded a crypto investment firm, which we recently liquidated. I've worked on numerous crypto and or blockchain projects, um, which one I still work on with a couple of dudes is a decentralized hash exchange. Um, we support script and uh, SHA 256D algorithm. And uh, I'm also the founder and CEO of Uvita Apps, which is a nightlife app. Uh, it's native to Pittsburgh, but it combines discovery and social experience. So, And then lastly, I have uh, a niche AI job board. And that's at AIjoblist.com. So if you're looking for an AI job, there you go. Um, But yeah, that's a little bit a little bit about me. I'm 20 and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, and I currently live here. So if there's anybody in the area that wants to meet up, uh, shoot me a uh, shoot me an email. Um, But yeah, so let's get into it. So the Google Sheets. So there's a lot of platforms now that use Google Sheets to as like kind of the the database for. creating native mobile apps and or web apps. Um, And I'm not going to be going into depth really about any of them, but uh, a few worth mentioning would be Sheet to Site uh, and Glide. But the reason I'm bringing this up is I was talking to a buddy of mine now, and we were talking about how there's most sites, especially for like the Google Sheet, is it's like one or the other, right? So there's none that can do both at the same time. And then we were talking about um, just using Glide and Sheet to Site, but then pulling info off of the same Google Sheet. So I'm going to be testing that out a little bit this week, and I'll I'll let you know how it goes, and I'll I'll update you on uh, I'll update you on how that goes this upcoming week. So I believe I'll I'll make the next episode probably Tuesday. So I'll let you know how it goes, and I'll probably post the links on uh, the Sheet to Site and the Glide app. And so, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what I wanted to say about that. I just thought it was an interesting concept. Maybe somebody could build something that you can do. You can use both. I know, uh, our next product or the product highlight that I wanted to talk about this week, Adalo, um, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you can make web apps or, uh, native mobile apps with them. Um, but I, I actually recently found it. I think MakerPad posted something about it. And so I was checking it out and it's super cool. Um, I think it would be way more beneficial for like design oriented people. Um, They'll definitely prefer this over any competitor that I've found so far, Um, especially like something like Glide. Um, And I think the reasoning behind that is, is because they have way more of a focus on letting you control the user interface and the user experience, which I think is super important in a world where it's getting just, the internet's getting flooded with like products. So it's really hard to differentiate yourself um, in the current marketplace. But I think uh, one way that you can do so is by creating an amazing user interface and user experience that really sets yourself apart. Whereas Glide kind of limits you to uh, the different, aspects of or they, they limit your creativity in terms of the, the app design but Adalo it's really all you it kind of reminds me of like the interface whenever you're building it out it kind of reminds me uh, of uh, I forget the design but um, I'll talk about it next episode but yeah it's just like super easy to use and um, it lays out all the screens there for you um, so you can see each screen as the user goes along. So the way they laid it out makes it super easy for you or whoever's making the app f- to create a super user-friendly experience. Um, and I just wanted to say that like these products, it's amazing because the way I kind of tie into no code is I, I know very little code, right? Like I know, I know a little bit, but um, I know not very much. And um it's been difficult, like trying to build things. And a lot of the time I use freelancers like Fiverr or sites like Upwork to find developers to help me build things whenever I don't know how to do something. 
And it can get costly. I mean, Fiverr is a great resource, especially if you're building something not so complicated. But if you're looking to build an MVP and you don't want to fork out a shit ton of cash to have developers build it for you, and most likely it'll take a lot more time. But like these products that these people are creating, like Adalo and Glide and Sheet to Sight and Bubble, which I'll talk about in later episodes, and I'll, I'll have a, a couple people on this podcast to tell you about their experiences using the products and how they've created profitable businesses using them. But it's just an amazing time where now we can create uh, MVPs and sometimes fully functioning products that like you may not need anything else. And that's just amazing to me. And I think that the opportunities will only continue to grow and it's just a really exciting time. So follow us on Twitter at code problem. And if you have created something amazing or there's anything you want me to touch on or any feedback, I'd love to hear it. So DM me on there or send me a tweet and uh, yeah. So Thank you for listening to No Code, No Problem and have a good day.